everyone. Welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today, we have an awesome bracelet we're going to be doing that is named the Werewolf Bracelet. But we here at Paracord Planet, we've modified that just a little bit to the Bumblebee Werewolf Bracelet. And the reason we're calling it that is because we're going with an awesome black and yellow combination. So without further ado, let's get paracording. So for our first step here, uh, we have taken our canary yellow, we have attached it to a lancing needle, and we are going to be lancing it through the top of our cow hitch for our four strand core. I've actually found a very easy way to do this too. If you take this, uh, the one part off of the jig, you can actually undo that knot pretty easily. And from there, it's very easy to just throw that in between, take it back. And although that wasn't the smoothest, it's back on. So we have found the middle of our canary yellow, and we have put it through the weave, the top weave of the cow hitch for our four strand core, and we are now ready to begin our weave. So for our first step of the weave, we are going to take the right side of our working strand. We're going to go under the first three, and we're going to loop it around and back under itself. So as we get the loop a little bit tighter, you're going to have something that will look like that. For the next step, we're going to take the right side of our canary yellow, and we're going to do the same thing as we did with the black paracord, except we're going to go through the middle of our inner strands. So we're going to go in between the first two and the second two, we're going to bring that end through the loop we just made with our black right working strand, and we're gonna bring it through. So you'd like to have something that looks like that, and now all we have to do is tighten up the loop. We're gonna start with our black cord. We're gonna tighten it up just a little bit. We'll take our yellow cord. We'll do the exact same thing. We'll go back to our black cord, to our yellow cord. Now we're going to do the same exact thing on the left side. So with our left black working strand, we're going to go under the first three, and then we're going to loop itself back and go underneath itself. So when we do close that loop a little bit, you should have something that looks like that. So we're going to do the exact same thing with our canary yellow as we did with the right strand. We're going to go through the middle. We're going to bring that strand through the black loop that we just made. And from there, we're gonna make our loop. Should have something that looks like that. And the exact same way we did with the right side, we're gonna do with the left side. So we're gonna cinch up the yellow a little bit, we'll cinch up the black a little bit, and we'll just keep going. Now, as you're doing this, you can also pull on the right side here just to make both of the loops a little bit tighter. And you can also take your finger and push the knot up as you're making it. And there we have our first pass of our weave. We're gonna do the exact same thing as we go down. We'll cut back in the video about halfway through and we'll show you what the weave looks like up to that point. So here we are about halfway done with our bracelet, and I really love the contrast between the black and the yellow paracord. I think it makes it stand out significantly. And one of the things I do love about the end of this bracelet is once we do get down to the end, all of the paracord will lay in the back just naturally. I found that out doing our, our prototype the first time around, so it's a very cool way to end the weave, but we'll come back to the video whenever we're ready for that step. So here we are at the end of our weave, and I will just show you how we're going to finish off the weave and have all of our paracord ending in the back. So, uh, we are going to take the left working black string that we have here, and we're going to set it up exactly the same way, except we're not going to make the loop that we normally would make. So here, we're going to actually come from the front, we're going to go in between the two paracords that we would have normally went between, except this time we're just trying to end it. So we got that nice little line right there. 
And we're going to do the exact same thing for the yellow. Take our lancing needle, put it on the end of the yellow. And now normally we would come up in between the two, but right now we're just going to go straight down. And there we go. So then for the right side of our working strand, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to bring them right down through the front. And we're going to go in between the two paracord that we would normally loop it around, but this time we want it to end in the back. And finally, with our final canary yellow string. So there we go, we have finished off the weave now. All that's left is to take our bracelet off of the jig, cut, and singe the paracord. So there we have our werewolf weave bracelet. I love the way that this thing looks. I love the contrast of the two colors. And I gotta be honest with you, normally it would make you feel like a werewolf, but for some reason, bzzz, I feel like a bee werewolf around here. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If it did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And if there's anything you'd like to see as a future project, you can always let us know in the comments below. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you on the next video. So there we do have our werewolf weave. And I gotta be honest with you, as soon as you put it on, it almost makes you wanna howl a little bit. Well, that was stupid.